us out to Cobrador Island, the most colorful boat. Actually, the nicest boat in the bay right now. Island, a little sandbar here. Over there is the famous Bon Bon Beach. One of the lovely inhabitants of the island. Looks like a resort is being built here. interesting little town. They have a nice basketball court. Everything looks nice and clean and well almost new. Maybe new paint for sure. Everything looks nice. Down here is the school. What a beautiful little community on an incredible island. 
This water is really nice for swimming in. It's not too cold. It's cool, but not cold. Refreshing. Fantastic clear water. Perfect for swimming. Look at how clear that water is. You can see down to the bottom very easily. We've seen fish and octopus. We're in a small bay now looking for turtles. I think they see one. But I'm in a bad spot to be filming right now. There is a turtle. They're going to look there. It's not so cute, the head comes up. Oh, he's swimming at the surface? Yeah, they said, they said, they the, the sea turtle is they good. Well, I haven't seen a turtle and I'm not going to be jumping out in the water to swim out to it. Look so. at my uncle there. It's there, he can see it on there. Yeah, I don't think that it would be a good idea to jump in the water with this camera. Yeah. I don't know that's good. Bon Bon Beach. With the sandbar. Bon Bon Beach and the famous sandbar that's almost not there right now because of high tide. At low tide it goes all the way over to that island and you can actually walk to the island. But not late in the afternoon. This stop at Bon Bon Beach is our last stop of this day. It's been a fantastic day of island hopping. Wow. I really highly suggest going on an island hop if you ever make it to Bon Bon. And if you want to go, uh, give me a message and I will give you the contact information for hiring the boat that we did. The guys were great. We just expected to go to Cobrador and, and come back, but they included several stops of great interest, the uh, water cave and uh, rock jumping and uh, another little island. And it was just really the best day I've had here in the Philippines. It was just a fantastic day. The boat cost 5,000 pesos for the day. Uh, there's four crew members. I'm going to tip them 2,000 because it was such a fantastic day. It's 1,000 pesos for fees at Cobrador. There were 19 of us. So if you go with a lot less, it's going to cost you a lot less. But it was well worth the money, believe you me, for 
a day that I will always remember forever.